Hello, welcome to another video of Midnight Suns. Let's see what we can go to today. Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. What? Yeah, it's my fault. But naturally. It may be my fault. What's this? A chest. That chest. Can't open it now, man. You did okay out there, considering you were technically dead 72 hours ago. Bad, Hunter. Not bad at all. Oh, well, hello there, Tony. Why is it lagging so much? Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time. Even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll what? get there. With a little help. I don't, like, don't want to be like you. Fool. And where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. Well, mm. Mm. I should be wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. All right. All right, Mr. Stark. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here. Other than my abject terror <coughs> of this entire facility. <coughs> Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. But I do not have a quill. Even better. <laughs> Relax, Tony. I simply jest. Mm -hmm. Ink derived of the spider lily flower. Red spider lily flowers. Of course it was. Obviously. With just a touch of Manphibian blood for power. Haha! <laughs> Another zinger! And we'll just I, leave it I, would have, I don't think I was joking. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just mm -hmm. me walking to my room. Oh, nice. I can use. Give Tony. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark. A secure course it does. information and communication device built for superheroes. It does all the usual private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape wearing, world saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, Probably. I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. Very nice. Superlink is your connection to the rest of your team, a social network just for superheroes. Check the link frequently for updates from other heroes in the Abbey. Yeah. Oh. What can read all this? Out loud. Yeah. A lot of magic. They're doing a good job there.
Oh. We were all so happy then. That demon dog. Agatha? Maybe? Yeah, Agatha. Agatha, Sarah, and with the hound. So, what you call your dog? Your hellhound? Fair enough. There was never enough room for my armor in this thing. Because earned from machines can be spent to unlock new cosmetic options for the hunter and heroes, including outfits to wear around the abbey. I can purchase a new outfit for the hunter now. Okay. Oh, he's a he's a lame. Also, this one. Damn, I got guns. Journal page. Oh. Oh, journal, April 3rd, 1703. Aunt Sarah wants me to practice my letters, and so here I am. But every time I dip this pen in ink, I just want more and more to go out beyond the yard into my secret spots. I left my dolls scattered around, scattered about before the storm, and I'm afraid they hurt. Do dolls hold grudges? Agatha says they don't, but I still feel sad for them. My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Collect item, complete item collections to gain special rewards. What the fuck? What is that? I'd be so laggy. Who's me adding? Call this a pleasant dream. Venture to help with me, you know. Charlie, I know, I know, I, I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past three hundred years. Oh, it must have been so hard. On Charlie, her. demon dogger. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curse before. A little. You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. The grand hero of old. And they're right. No one's curious about the hellhound that I've got chilling with me. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. Okay. To the forge, people! Just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Did they have a relationship? Charlie was resting with us all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, 
Stark has requested your presence in the forge. Oh, I didn't. For you. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. I got stuff from that. Okay. Next thing I know, the sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. I don't get it. Strange couldn't just magic his way in. The fuck is this? Something about the whole alien uh, thing. Oh, um, income. Don't want to change. I was just lying around. Tech caretaker's journal, July thirteenth, sixteen eighty nine. Recruiting witches from out, from across the sea has sent for our help. I regret that I cannot do more, but lift an eye or stretch to our limits. I sent a moon seal to their home in Salem by way of the Knights of Wonder God. Nah, I probably butchered that. I have no doubt this will take care of the troubles they face. Another journal. Take Acres Journal, November 23rd, 1989. We have moved the Abbey from our transit transit home to Salem. I and I must confess I am astounded at the natural beauty of this place. But there is no time for sentiment. We have a job to do. Kifon has found influence here with Hiram Shaw through a page of the dog hold. The moon seal did not bring the witches the protection it should have. Several have been killed already. There is no telling how far this dark power can go. For now we watch from the safety of the abbey hidden away amongst thick woodland. We must understand what we, it is we face. Because that's before Lilith goes made. Oh, my crazy. No wonder he gets so strange around me. See what I did there? I'm a vampire. I see everything. That's a big boy. That's a fog boy. Now, think you can tell your friend inside there to turn off a few hundred Kelvin? Can I always lie on strange and try to do so much stupid? The containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. Where's that demon in there? Just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian. Okay, he is a demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding. Breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing. Mm, yes, speaking of. Oh, right. It's ready. Ooh, it's Your armor. armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two are such skilled smithies. Yep. I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps ha. you should just try it on. Good joke. Oh, now I'm ready to fight. Let's do this. I still think I could have used a cloak. Not everyone needs a cloak. Strange. Damn near indestructible. And we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. Oh shit. Can I suit? What is this? Tarot card. Nova rise up into this starry night sky. Founded by stars that re represent the support of his team. This card symbolizes serenity and hope for the future. Okay. 
Hey, two. Got a chance, strange oh, cause to move. That's annoying. That is annoying. And I'll have you know this cloak has helped me save the universe from extinction on countless occasions. Strange job of What the fuck is this? Could you at least tell it to stop rearranging things on my side of the cave? Oh hello, strange you want to talk. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and well, after a violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? So fine. You lost much yesterday, Doctor. I am the one who should be asking you how you are feeling. I appreciate that, Hunter. I admit I did not expect the child of Lilith to have the capacity for such empathy. And you're right, of course. I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my we'll get it back. We'll all get it my back. gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was, is... We got it back. Don't worry about it. charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But oh, I yes. determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Why did you let? Why did you? Why did you? Why did you let Lilith cap? But why did you let Wanda get captured? Hmm. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. Okay, Doctor Tony. Hey. Talk to Tony. But somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? It is nice having a nice suit, thank you. On demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. Was this close to making it menthol flavored? The tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out what three hundred years before we what is that for eternal it? rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. I take it this new version is a technological marvel. Hot marvel. Impact resistant carbon composites, some patent pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Doctor Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raid. That's nice. I may be a few hundred years behind, but I know that tone. Oh, you are a sharp one. But no, I'm insulting the situation.
Bin gut für Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things. Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Yeah. Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. I remember. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Later. Gamma coil analysis. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at Yield Demon Hunting School, so I'm just going to give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma what? accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it coil for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This sure you do. Is more well, sure you do. Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Damn. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted Dr. Oven Spooky, Oven, man. I think two can play every time. Yes, man. We're not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line. I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. Almost I in. like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma powered medicine for a change? I like to, I would like to stick it to stick it to Hydra, yes. Analyzing gamma coils. Tony Ka Tony Stark can use the coil material recovered in combat to create hero abilities. Only one of their abilities on offer can be selected, so choose wisely. What? You're gonna give me three, and I'm gonna choose one. That yes, brother. Yes, brother. The stars 35, 36 off. Blade. Uh, but rolls. When you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. You have gain. You have gained a copy of a currently equipped ability. If you're taken to the yard, duplicate abilities can be combined into new, more powerful versions. Okay. Not the blade. Where are we at? Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? No. I have no questions. None. All right then. Fulton deals increased damage in combat. If you can be careful, let's do this. If a hero possesses two copies of an ability, they can be combined to create a new, more powerful version. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, attack essence training XP. Okay. That might that will come in under. Hell, you don't need to work out. Sir. Can I ask about you? I guess. How did you become a Dampier? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if True. that's how it always True. is, but that's the way it went down for me. Fair enough. How old are you? Yeah, I like to answer that. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. 
Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories, almost like coming up for air before being Dude. yanked back down into the depths. I'm sure you're a lot older than 20. What happened? In your 20s. I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. Okay. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. Uh, you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone <laughs> to the Avengers <laughs> PR team. You're funny. Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. That's true. But that got me thinking. Strange caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> My time as a pilot taught me one thing. It's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. If there is any time to put your powers of persuasion to work, now is the time, Captain. Trust me, Hunter, I'm looking forward to it. Hydra's been a thorn in me and Steve's asses for years. Can't wait to remove them for good. <sighs> Find me in the war room when you're finished. Steve, yeah. Things we should discuss. Oh, good old Hunter? Captain America, no. Welcome back from the dead. Oh, thank you. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The gamma signature is... Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say gamma? Yes, get. Yeah. Hang on a second. Come That's on, Tony. Good. You managed to stream the Super Bowl to a Kree battleship 50 light years out. This should be easy. We waited all year for that game, and you know the Skrulls would have spoiled it for us if they got the chance. Well, can't you just... I don't know. Work my magic again? See, that's the problem. This time I am working with actual magic, and let me tell you, it sucks. Fair enough. TV problems, I see. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? What? <laughs> we should be able to track this new gamma signature to its source then, right? I do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. You love your acronyms, Mr. Stark. Hope your Stark. enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah. Well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse. In the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Me. Oh, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Your sarcasm is not welcome. Ready. 
multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. That's all. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.